Today I will talk about a just-released literary thriller, Bird in a Cage, starring the multiple Oscar-nominated Willem Duff. The concept conveyed in this film is thought-provoking, and friends who have never seen it should not miss it. The story begins in this metaphorical rich area of the city. In a luxurious apartment, the hero Nick is stealing famous paintings worth tens of millions. The time is only seven minutes. Nick hurried to the gate to retreat, but when he entered the password given by his teammates, the security system of the mansion was activated. At this time, Nick realized that he was fucking betrayed by his teammates. He calmed down and began to look for a breakthrough. Since the door to go out is made of wood, he only needs to cut a gap to escape. What is frustrating is that after a few tireless hours, a hard steel plate appeared on the back of the wooden door. The air conditioner above my head inexplicably blew warm air. It took only a few minutes. The temperature directly reached 100 degrees. Nick was so hot from the sudden change that he was forced to go to the kitchen to find a water source, but the faucet couldn't release a drop of water, and the gas stove next to him couldn't turn on. Finally, Nick found that there was a life-saving refrigerator here. If you find a treasure, and then greedily devour the ice slag inside, the cold temperature finally solves the urgent need, but what should you do next? Nick lay on the table and called his teammates. He desperately hoped that the other party would find out with his conscience. Unfortunately, there was no response from the intercom. It seemed that he had to rely on himself to escape. With a full stomach, I scraped off the mold on the expired ham with a knife, and then coated it with a layer of valuable caviar. Out of the nine windows, you can see other parts of the apartment by visual inspection. Among them, Nick, the security guard at the front desk on the first floor, is puzzled. The temperature in the room returned to normal the next day. At this time, a pigeon was running away desperately. It turned out that while the security system trapped Nick, it also trapped the passing pigeons on the balcony. It fell into despair just like Nick, came to the pool to wash his face. Nick started a new day of exploration. His teammates could not come again, so he had to think of all feasible ways. Patted the man-made glass in California, Nick felt more and more that the master was a pervert. After surveying the surroundings, he couldn't figure it out. The chandelier above his head caught his attention. Don't guess that this kind of light can be connected to the outside, as long as you remove a piece of it, you can easily escape from it. A ladder must be built to go up then Nick pulled all the movable furniture, including some large wooden tables on the second floor, and carefully tied them with ropes to fix a simple operating platform. It was done, but when Nick climbed up to check and found that he needed to go higher, he was too thirsty. The water in the swimming pool is undrinkable, and the water in the fish tank is also undrinkable. When I opened a refrigerator in the kitchen, there was only some dog food in it. At this time, there was a sound in the living room. It turned out to be fresh water from the indoor shower. Nico, who had gained energy for a while, lay down and rested. In order to speed up the progress of building the ladder, Nick dismantled the bed board in the bedroom again, and the hard work paid off. In the evening, the ladder was finally finished. After confirming that the structure was extremely strong, Nick installed the last step, which could reach the top this time. But the above situation is far more complicated than imagined. The pigeons on that balcony seemed to be dying. Nick turned on the monitor, but accidentally saw the cleaning staff coming to the door. How could such a good opportunity let you go? Nick hurried to the gate to call for help. His sound insulation effect made it impossible to hear anything outside. When Nick came back and checked the monitor, the people outside had already left. With the failure of the indoor system again, the air conditioner above the head blew cold wind again. This is really a fucking pain. At this time, a painting on the wall came into view, he looked strange and strange, are these idiots boarding the plane? Think carefully about the difference between yourself and them. The temperature in the room returned to normal, and Nick woke up leisurely from his sleep. After drinking a wonderful shower, he first smashed a vase, and then found two pieces of the same size. The purpose of the large fragment is to make a goggle, so as to avoid the lights during construction, and climb up the six meter high ladder again. Whether Nick can escape and ascend to the sky will soon be revealed. He used a tool to pry open the edge bit by bit, it was not a moment to want to remove it easily, as expected, a damn screw appeared, and when all the keels were exposed, there was only a chandelier there were only 12 bolts. After a few days, Nick, who couldn't find the wrench, began to despair, and even felt that his spirit had been lost. At this time, the pigeon on the balcony was still alive, and seemed to encourage Nick not to give up then Nick came to he wanted to change clothes in the cloakroom, but when he took it, he found a secret door and explored through the narrow space. Could it be the escape route left by the owner? Go in and take a closer look, and there is actually a world-famous painting that you have been looking for hidden inside. And Nick lay down again in despair. It was the nth time that the cleaning staff came to the door. The man knocked on the door tirelessly, but the people outside still didn't respond, trying to push out the note for help, but everything was in vain. Obviously, 
No matter how much Nick cries, no one will come to rescue him. In the middle of the night, Nick dreamed that he was invited by the owner of the house. The closed wooden door was opened, and after waking up, Nick had come to his senses, and wrapped himself in a quilt, he looked at his ladder again. The next day, Nick disassembled several chairs, and then began to carve them into wooden wrenches with a knife. He wanted to try to leave again, and he wanted to make the impossible possible. Constantly improving tools, Nick finally succeeded after trying again and again. That's right, hope lies in constant persistence. In order to replenish his physical strength, Nick fished out all the fish in the fish tank, and then made them into balls with flour. Despite the extremely disgusting taste, this man tenaciously survived. Day after day, countless wrenches were made, and Nick couldn't remember how many times he had to do it again. Except for a little bit of polishing progress, he would also create in the lounge, and then put the removed nuts one by one, perhaps surrounded by a room full of artworks, Nick's random graffiti became more and more interesting. As all the edible rations were eaten up, Nick's life also ushered in a difficult time. One day, there was no water, and he was so angry he roared while hugging the green plants, perhaps driven by the desire to survive, Nick suddenly thought of a good way to use the smoke detector on the ceiling to attract the property, so that he could be rescued, then found some paper scraps, and then used a magnifying glass to zoom in. A flame started, a torch was then used to trigger the smoke, and the apartment began to pour rain. However, to Nick's despair, the waterproof system of the house was not only surprisingly good, but people outside did not notice it at all. It happened to be raining all night, and when the last nut was left, Nick fell off the ladder. In the following days, Nick had hallucinations. She saw the cleaning staff enter the room quietly, and then squatted down to kiss her. On the 30th day, snowflakes floated outside the apartment, and the pigeons in the snow became a skeleton. At this time Nick took the last nut and lifted his arm twice before putting it down. The man succeeded, which also means that he is about to be free. Life will die, music will disappear, but art will eternal. Thank you for your hospitality taught you three things to avoid destruction, maybe they should be destroyed, after all, there is no creation without destruction, then Nick, who is almost at the end of his bow, begins to climb the ladder, this ladder is his way to survive or maybe it is his stairway to heaven, as the glass of the chandelier fell, the man finally escaped from here, before leaving, he did not take anything with him, the film is known as the bird in the cage, on the surface, it seems to be an escape room, but it is actually explaining a simple truth, Everything is inferior, only freedom is the most precious.